Congrats on the win. I know it's been uh, quite the journey for you to get back here to this moment. So I guess I'm sure you could talk about it for a long time, but but give us the feel of what it's like to, you know, to get back to you. My God. Whew. All right. So it feels amazing uh, to come out and get that unanimous decision win. Um, no, I'm not ecstatic about it because I, I do like to finish my fights and to have fought someone so tough. Um, for my first fight back, undefeated. Wow, <laughs> it's, it's a, it's, it still feels amazing. Yeah. Heck of a test you got tonight, right? I mean, uh, you know, I think he had a little bit of a reputation, but uh, I mean, were you expecting that kind of a fight in there tonight? No, I was expecting him to um, just crack, like everyone else does. <laughs> I, I put it on the work. I knew that he was a pressure fighter, and he was going to come forward and try to uh, wear me out. And in order for me to stop that, I had to dig at his body, which is what was my one of my main goals in that fight. So I should keep touching the body so he'd slow down. But even with that, he just kept coming forward. Man, kid's a beast. <laughs> M mentally, what what was the last year for you like? I mean, has it been? I mean, tonight coming in, were you just excited, or were there were there nerves? Or was there a lot of pressure? What's the feel been like? Um, I don't get nervous to fight. Not not anymore. I've had so many. Uh, this is my 29th fight, and um, I mean the, the nerves are gone, but I don't know. Uh, coming coming back from the last year, 2020, uh, it was a big mental push for me. I I went through a lot. I went through everything that you can think of: um, injuries, sicknesses, infections financial struggles um uh forced out of my house a lot of, like a lot went down in 2020 and uh it was either uh make it and make make me a better person or let it break me and i i considered quitting fighting um, I, I considered a lot so it means the world to me to be here right now and the victory really does did you feel like your career was potentially on the line tonight yeah, yeah, I did. Cause uh, I've been given the, the best of the best off the bat. I uh, fought Sadiq Yusuf, who's in a undefeated streak in the UFC. Gilbert Burns, who has more fights in the UFC than I have, period. And he's on a winning streak uh, for more fights than I have, period. And then I fought Thomas Gifford, which thankfully won that fight. And then now to be on a winning streak of two means that I'm here to stay and I'll get to sign a new contract and that makes me real happy. Awesome. Well, it was a hell of a fight, man. Early, you know, potential fight of the night. I got to ask as it's playing out though. I mean, are your coaches giving you advice? Like stop getting hit, stop brawling in there. I mean, what was the advice? Um, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> uh, there's definitely a lot I, I want to work on. I heard them in the corner saying to put my hands up. And I don't know, I get too comfortable and I like to just flow and rhythm because when I'm in a fight, I treat it like sparring. If I treat it like a fight, I gas my mind out and that makes me really tired. So when I'm in there, you'll see like I'll start relaxing, I'll dry my hands, I'll float a little bit and that makes me feel really good. But uh, my coaches don't like it. <laughs> I imagine. Last thing for me, man, I'm sure you want to soak this moment in and really enjoy it. But I mean, like you said, now you're here. What's the next step moving forward? I mean, do you feel like you want to fight again quickly to make up for lost time? Do you need a little time to heal? What's yeah. what's the plan? I definitely want a little time to heal and uh, a little time to correct some stuff. Um, I know that I'm, I'm well-rounded, but there are uh, small flaws in every fighter, and I want to correct those before I come back in here. But I do want to heal and be back in here before maybe April. Uh, April looks good. Maybe end of March, April. Mike, right here. How how beneficial was it in your camp, considering Dustin has probably the biggest fight of his career coming up, and you guys are probably peaking at the same time this week? It was um, definitely essential for me to watch the way he trained uh, for a fight so big. And honestly, um, it's not known, but as he he's like an idol uh, as we train together, and to know that he's fighting someone with the exact same record score uh not record but uh like uh 
credentials that the kid I just fought, multi-time Cage Warriors champ, same as Conor McGregor, to know that we're both fighting the similar person, and I just won. That gives me, um, man, that, that makes me feel really good, and I'm really excited to see his fight because I feel like he'll come out with the victory. Are you going to stick around for that fight, or do you have to go back? I have to go back. I already asked, and they told me no. <laughs> And then during the fight, it looks like you were you were really really trying to whittle him down with like a, instead of that one power shot, you were landing a lot and maybe putting a lot of a little bit of a snap at the end of your combinations. But he kept walking forward through your punches. So while that's happening in the third round, what's going through your mind? My God, um, going through my mind is that uh, I hit him with literally everything I had. Um, I, I know that I'm rusty. I'm definitely rusty. My timing's off. Uh, I haven't been able to the train the way I want to because I'm always injured. So. For me to uh, piece it together like I did, hit him with those combinations, that was good. Uh, I just wish I could have put him down. I really do. And then, and then finally, uh, social media loved your fight. Like people are talking about it a lot. Do you try to think about like what if I do get that fight of the night bonus, or can you not allow your mind to wander I, towards that? I mean, every fighter wants that bonus, <clears throat> and it's, it's how it always is because uh, it's a 50k. I mean, that that's a year salary. It's like a, a me average year salary, but um no, I mean I don't want to depend on getting that bonus or not. And uh, if if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just know that. Uh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Taking in the emotions still. Um, I just know that um I won that fight. I'm I'm golden. Uh, I get to stay here. I get to get another check, regardless if I get a bonus or not. So I get to come back in here and do it again, and that means a lot to me. That's that's the world. That's this is my life. Is that it? Anyone else want a question? No. All right. Thank you, guys.